catch them all. Hey guys, Pokedown here. Out of all seven regions that currently exist in the Pokemon universe, it's fair to say that any of my existing subscribers know that Sinnoh is my favourite region. And I mean, who can blame me? Sinnoh is amazing. But anyway, I thought it'd be fun to make a video discussing some of my favourite Gen 4 Pokemon. So in this video, I'll be counting down my top 10 Sinnoh Pokemon. So as usual guys, this is all in my opinion, so if you disagree with anything I have to say in this video, be sure to let me know about it in the comments. But with all that being said, let's get into it. Coming in at number 10 spot on this list is none other than the pseudo-legendary of Sinnoh itself. Garchomp. Garchomp has always been a Pokemon that I've been a fan of. It has a truly outstanding design and being Cynthia's main Pokemon, I certainly approve of Garchomp. But I'm not the only fan of Garchomp. It's a fairly favourited Pokemon in the franchise and it even gained a mega evolution in Pokemon X and Y. What I don't like about Garchomp is when I have to battle against it. My friend Ozzy loves using his Garchomp in battles and I always get a bit worried when he sends it out to fight. Not even kidding, this Garchomp has swept many of my teams. I just really like Garchomp and it deserves a spot on this list. Coming in at the number 9 spot on this list is the Pika clone of Gen 4, Pachirisu. Probably the cutest Pokemon on this list, Pachirisu doesn't only have an adorable design, but it can also pack a punch too. But the main reason why I like this electric squirrel is down to the Pokemon anime. In the Pokemon anime, Dawn captures a Pachirisu and not only is it cute, but it's also somewhat of a funny character too. Pachirisu, like other of Dawn's Pokemon, really helped her out in contest appearances, and I enjoy tuning into the Sinnoh anime and seeing Pachirisu. Pachirisu is an awesome Pokemon. It's even on the winning 2014 Pokemon VGC team too. A Pokemon, may I add, that no one expected to win. This Gen 4 Pokemon is just so cute and it's more than deserving of a place on this list. Coming in at the number 8 spot on this list is the Sinnoh Ice Pokemon Weavile. Another somewhat good Pokemon in competitive battling, Weavile takes the number 8 spot. Obviously, as we know, Sinnoh introduced evolutions and pre-evolutions for some Pokemon from previous games. And one of these Pokemon that gained an evolution happened to be Sneasel. I've never really had an opinion on Sneasel. I think it looks cool, but that's pretty much it. But as for Weavile, I'm a massive fan. Like I said, Weavile is a good Pokemon in competitive battling, and that's exactly why I use one on my battle team. Weavile isn't exactly known for taking hits, but it can certainly dish one out. And besides, it's not really built for defense anyway, it's a fast physical sweeper. Also, Weavile is one of those Pokemon that have a rather unique evolution method. If you want a Weavile, then you'll have to level up your Sneasel holding a Razor Claw at night. In some games, the Razor Claw can be hard to obtain, but if I were you, I'd do my best to obtain one because Weavile is just awesome. Coming in at the number 7 spot on this list is none other than Floatzel. I've loved Floatzel from an early age, and the same can really be said for its pre-evolution Buizel. In fact, I like Buizel just a little bit more. One of the reasons why I like Buizel so much is obviously the Pokemon anime. In the Sinnoh anime, Dawn captures a Buizel, and Buizel not being too keen on Pokemon contests and instead liking Pokemon battling, Dawn traded it to Ash in return for his Apom. Ash's Buizel was such a cool Pokemon. To start off, it had the attitude of a badass. It could be stubborn at times, but as the Sinnoh anime progressed, I found myself loving this water type more and more. I also happen to really like Weasel's design too. Like Pachirisu, it has an adorable look to it, and in fact, at one point, I was going to change my mascot from Chinchou to Weasel. But anyway, I really like Floatzel too. I remember on my journey through the Sinnoh region, I came across Crash Awake's Floatzel, and it absolutely abolished my team. I really like this evolution line so much, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. Coming in at the number 6 spot on this list is Sinnoh Evolution Electivire. Sinnoh really nailed it when they introduced so many evolutions to previous Pokemon. I mean, we've already seen Weavile on this list, but the Sinnoh Evolution I think is better is Electivire. Again, like Weavile, Electivire is another strong Pokemon that's pretty well known in competitive battling, and in fact, it's another Pokemon I use on my competitive battling team. Trust me, 
I use quite a few Pokemon to battle with, but Electivire is one that I use more often than others. This electric type is really strong, and it's also the evolution of another cool Pokemon, Electabuzz. I never used an Electivire on my Sinnoh team when I was younger, but I wish I did because this Pokemon is just truly amazing. With a lot of strength and a great design, Electivire is most definitely deserving of a spot on this list. Coming in at the number 5 spot on this list is the mascot Pokemon of Pokemon Platinum, and my favourite legendary Pokemon, Giratina. Now, to my admission, if Pokemon Platinum wasn't the first Pokemon game that I played, who knows if Giratina would even be on this list. But since it was and Giratina was my first captured legendary Pokemon, it is on this list. Pokemon Platinum has an amazing story, and I remember that when I was younger and that story was drawn to a close, I ended up capturing Giratina. This Pokemon was what my first playthrough of Pokemon Platinum was building up to, so I mean, of course I like it. Giratina holds a lot of memories of mine, but that's not the only reason why I like it. Giratina has a pretty amazing design and concept. It got banished to the Distortion World by Arceus, but just because this Pokemon is evil doesn't mean it can't be liked. I really think Giratina is an awesome Pokemon, so of course, I had to give it a spot on this list. In at the number 4 spot on this video today, we have my first regional bird Pokemon, Staraptor. Heck, Staraptor wasn't just the first regional bird I caught, but it's the first Pokemon I ever caught. In my opinion, of course, Staraptor is the best regional bird, and like I mentioned, that's mainly because of my use for it. It was the Pokemon on my team that transported me to other cities in a matter of seconds, aka my fly Pokemon. But that wasn't the only use I had for this Pokemon. Being an earlier member of my Sinnoh party, Staraptor is one of my teammates I grew to like maybe more than others. For me, it just did wonders on my Platinum team. But the games aren't the only reason why I like Staraptor. I also really like Staraptor in the Sinnoh anime under the ownership of Ash. I just really like Staraptor full stop. It was my first capture in Sinnoh, so of course it had to be on this list. Coming in at the number 3 spot on this video, we have the best ground type Pokemon, it's Gliscor. Unlike other Pokemon that have made it to a higher spot in this video, Gliscor was not a Pokemon I used on my Pokemon Platinum team, but instead I've really grown to like this Pokemon over the past years. Now for anyone who has battled any of my competitive teams, you've most likely come up against Bufa. Bufa is my Gliscor. In fact, I actually named it after Bufa of the Elite Four from Sinnoh. Anyone who faces up against Bufa knows that it has the potential to sweep teams. My Gliscor is a powerful Pokemon on my competitive team. Of course, I run it with Poison Heal, which makes it even worse for my opponents. Like I said, this Pokemon isn't one I used on my team back when I was younger, but I've grown to like it over the years. Mainly down to its competitive use, but once again, also because of the Pokemon anime. As we all know, Ash had a Gliscor, and it was just one of my favourite Pokemon he had on his team. I could talk about how awesome Gliscor is all day, but I think I've made my point. Anyway, on to number 2. In at the number 2 spot on this list, and just missing out on number 1, is the electric Pokemon Luxray. Where do I even begin with this Pokemon? First off, Luxray has such a damn beastly design, and it's fair to say it's a Pokemon liked by most people. That can also be said for its whole evolution line. Shinx is one of the cutest electric type Pokemon there is, Luxio is another Pokemon in this evolution line with a beastly design, and of course Luxray is just amazing. I also like Luxray because of the Pokemon games. As you guys can probably guess, this is a Pokemon I used on my in-game Platinum team. I caught it as a Shinx just after I caught Starly, and it was a strong member of my team. Notably, it really Really helped out against Crash Awakes Gym, where a lot of my Pokemon struggled. It's just an awesome Pokemon all round. Also, though it wasn't Gen 4, I liked Luxray's appearance in the Pokemon anime where it was under the ownership of Clement in the X and Y anime. I have so many fond memories of this Pokemon, but what could have beaten it to the number one spot? And 
and coming in at the number one spot and my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon is Infernape. For anyone who isn't new to my channel, this must come as no surprise. In any video I make where I mention Infernape, I always big it up a lot because it was my first starter Pokemon. And I mean, this Pokemon is pretty cool. But anyway, Infernape was my first starter and I feel that you'll always remember your first starter Pokemon. I started off my Sinnoh journey with a Chimchar and as it evolved and got stronger and progressed, I began to love it more and more. Eventually, I ended up with an Infernape, and it was the strongest Pokemon on my team without a doubt. On top of that though, I really like Infernape's design, and in my opinion, it's the best fire and fighting starter too. Again, I really liked it in the Sinnoh anime under the ownership of Ash. Ash's Infernape was a powerful Pokemon that had to get over the problems it previously faced with Paul. Infernape is just an amazing Pokemon, and it has to be my favourite Sinnoh Pokemon. But anyway guys, that's it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, leave a comment telling me what your favourite Sinnoh Pokemon are, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But with all that being said, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.